Hey guys, what is going on? It is Gear and here, and in today's video, we are gonna be reviewing Fairy Tale Episode 19. Sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's get right into this very funny video because I will admit, Fairy Tale Episode 19 was one of the funniest episodes of the anime to me anyway because it was such a funny episode and I'll get right into it because I'm gonna review it. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let me know down below how I can make these videos better for you guys because I know sometimes you might not watch the full thing. So let me know down below. How can I make these videos better for you guys? Because I want to make this better for you guys so let me know by dropping a comment below. So let's get right into this review. What happened at the beginning? Well the crew were outside the guild fairy tale and everyone was scared that they're gonna get it which is a punishment that we do not know yet that they were gonna get from Master and let's just say when they went into the guild Elsa straight away asked for Master then they met up with Mira Jane and everyone it looks like Mira Jane explained to Elsa that Master went off to a council meeting and that he'll be back soon so no time scales of when he will be back so Elsa was saying that yes you're fine for now but when Master gets back straight away I'm gonna ask him what your punishment is because you still did take a S rank request from the second floor which you were not allowed to do so you still have to receive your punishment. So then everyone was sort of celebrating thinking about Master not being there and they're not gonna get it which was a punishment and let's just say even though they were celebrating a bit Elsa knocked them back in so it was very funny seeing that moment and it was also very funny seeing that Lucy didn't know what that it punishment was. Everyone was teasing her, she was asking everyone what was that punishment, what is it? Well nobody was saying what it was and it was very funny everyone teasing her about you're gonna get it or I feel so sorry for you. That was so funny to see. So then what happened after that is the crew, well, Natsu was looking on the request board with Grey and they saw this poster where apparently if they deciphered this message they would get 500,000 jewels. So they, all they had to do was just decipher a message on the poster. So they straight away took that request even though Elsa said for not, them not to because of the situation they're in. Natsu didn't care and he just read out the poster and he read some ancient spell that apparently did something very weird. So after he read this spell out loud, a large light came out of nowhere and just before that, Loki was behind them. So it was Elsa, Happy, Grey, Lucy and Natsu. So everyone was there when Natsu said this spell, ancient spell remember? And when he said it, well let's just say something interesting happened where it looks like everyone had switched minds and bodies. So Grey became Lucy, Lucy became Grey, Natsu became Loki. Loki became Natsu and Elsa became Happy and Happy became Elsa. Again, this is one of the most funniest moments ever because everyone was talking like normal in their different bodies and they didn't even realize they were noticed until a couple of minutes later after they were just uh, they were speaking to each other because they felt some difference in their body and everything. And it was very funny seeing like Happy's reaction to being in Elsa's body and Grey's reaction and it was so funny to seeing everyone's reaction and again, I laughed so much in this episode that it was really fun to see and it was such a nostalgic episode because for me, this is one of the key funniest episodes for me in Fairy Tale because it's nothing to do with plot, it's nothing to do with anything that is main storyline thing. This was just a funny episode and that is what I want to see in animes. I just want to see everyone not have any main plot storyline, not have any main stuff happening, just one funny episode to relax everyone and then get back to the serious stuff. That is what makes a great anime and that is the pinnacle of Fairy Tale. So let's get right back into the review. So as Fairy Tale, well as Natsu and everyone were confused about their bodies and how the hell they switched, it looks like Master came in out of nowhere and he explained that the spell Natsu read out loud was actually a changeling spell. So everyone changed bodies and minds as soon as that spell was read out loud, the full thing, and they only have 30 minutes to change back to their normal forms. So everyone is panicking because they don't know how to change back to their normal forms. And Master was being very funny because even though he was trying to give off that vibe saying that he knew what to do, he said, I got no clue what, to, what you, need, you need to do, you're on your own. That was so funny to see 
and again master being a classic funny guy even though you can tell that he does have some serious power behind him he's been a funny guy to his kids so again a funny moment and let's just say everyone is still panicking because they are worried that they might just stay in each other's bodies forever and then there was some moments where Grey wanted to take off his top because of that normal weird thing that he has where he takes off his clothes and everything but he was in Lucy's body so technically he couldn't do that so the Lucy version of Grey stopped him before he could do that and it looks like uh, Elfman Macau and another guy they were all just let's just say very interested when Grey was about to do that in Lucy's body then it went to Erza and Happy and Erza was well the happy version of Erza was let's just say very down because she was so let's just say not feeling it because Happy's body was so weak so small that she really was very down by being in his body which made the Erza version of Happy Let's just say that version was very funny because what Happy did in Elsa's body was he re-equipped her armor and let's just say he wanted to try put on a cool armor but apparently he put on some sort of swimsuit and let's just say Elfman and Makawa they all got let's just say a little bit excited for that which was uh, not very good but let's just say they don't see Elsa do that often so that's why they probably got excited for that and Elsa was trying to stop Happy by giving him a quick punch to the face but he then all that happened was even Happy didn't realize that he punched, well, elbowed Happy in the face and Elsa was so down from that because she was thinking, wow, I've become so weak. My life is worth nothing now. I cannot. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Again, you gotta watch the episode to find out how funny it was because even though I'm reviewing it and I'm explaining it like this, you gotta watch the episode yourself to find out how funny it is because it is literally very funny. So then, after everyone was so down and despaired, Nuts on Loki, well let's just say, Loki was in Nuts' body, he ran out of the guild after he was, let's just say, just panicking for some reason, and he tried to ask some girls out on a date, and when he did, fire started to drool out of his mouth, and so he just ran back to the guild, and Loki, which of course Nuts was in, he was feeling nothing, literally nothing in his body, and he felt so empty. We'll find out why in the next couple of episodes, why he felt like that, but it was a little tease to what was going to happen in the future, which I do like, because now I know what the plot is, so very nice job, Fairytale. So, as they were panicking and everything, Master did also say that it wasn't just their minds that switched, it was also their magic, so now everyone has switched their magics as well, so that means that Grey can now become a Celestial Wizard, Lucy has become an Ice Mage, Happy has become a re-equipping person, Loki has become a fire dragon slayer, and Natsu has become we don't know because we don't know what Loki's magic is. So again a very funny moment showing everyone using their magic in a different way and let's just say as they switch bodies their techniques became so much weaker because they didn't know how to utilize each of their techniques to its fullest potential because they're not in their own bodies so it was very funny to see that everyone tried to use their own magic but they couldn't use it to its full potential so then out of nowhere as everyone was so down and ready to give up Levi came in out of nowhere with her shadow squad and let's just say they were sort of like the ray of shining hope because everyone was putting all their hope into Levi because Levi said that she will try to find out what it is and try to undo it so she straight away went to work and she uses her magic glasses to find out how to undo it and decipher the spell as they were doing that let's just say Makao was teasing everyone about the time running out and everyone was just thinking wow what will happen if we do stay stuck in each other's body and when they started to think like that Happy, well the Elsa version of Happy noticed that well since we've all changed bodies and all of our techniques have become much weaker we will become the weakest team in Fairy Tale. so they did a little bit of a montage where it showed the weakest team in Fairy Tale, and let's just say it did not look good so they wouldn't be able to do any serious jobs if they stayed in each other's body if they didn't undo the spell so as they were thinking like that Levi deciphered the message so she deciphered the spell but she didn't decipher how to undo it. So even though everyone was having high hopes thinking, yes, Levi, you found out how to, well, you've deciphered the spell. She didn't actually find out how to undo it. So everyone was down again at that. And let's just say they were all starting to panic because Makao was like the timer saying how long they got left. And it was going downer and downer and downer. And everyone was just really starting to give up. 
Then, Master came in out of nowhere. He was about to do his old thing where he found, well, he, when he was gonna tell everyone how to undo it, but he didn't do that. What he did was he said that, well, even though you've changed bodies, I do not know how to fix it. So I am very sorry about that. So <laughs> it was a funny moment from Master and he also said, something else which I do forgot so I do apologize about that but I do remember it was very funny but you guys let me know down below what did he also say about that well what else did Master also say and just as Master was speaking Levi did decipher the full message and this time she actually found out how to undo the spell so she actually undid the spell by saying it out loud and now I just remembered what Master said so Master said that it, with the time that's left which was about under a minute only pairs can actually get their spell undone so only one pair in that time can have the spell undone so they can switch back to their normal bodies so everyone was arguing that which pair was going to go first like was it going to be Grey and Lucy or was it going to be no Natsu and Loki or everything like that so they were all just wondering about that and arguing about that Levi then just said the spell out loud before she could explain what she did and as she did that well let's just say Lucy and Grey they went back to normal, but let's just say Natsu and Loki, Elsa and Happy, they were still stuck in each other's bodies. So even though Levi did a great job of deciphering everything and even reverting Grey and Lucy back to normal, the rest were just screwed on that. So let's just say that everyone was screwed and even as she's read out the spell backwards because she said in ancient times there was no, let's just say there was no cure or new answer to undo a spell so the best way to undo it in the ancient times was to read the spell backwards which she did and as she read the spell backwards some of the people traded bodies so Mira Jane and Master traded bodies and Elfman and Kana changed bodies along with Jet and Droy so let's just say everyone was panicking again and Master was showing off Mira Jane's body which he let's just say he is an old man so you can't forgive him for that and it ended off with such a funny note because the narrator said that the spell was very bad and he just ended it off like that and let's just say not so Loki came out saying so we're we gonna end up like this and this is how the episode's gonna end it was a funny moment and I will admit one of the funny mo uh, episodes in Fairy Tale so far you guys let me know down below what was your favorite moment in Fairy Tale episode 19 and if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop it a like leave a comment and if you enjoyed these videos and enjoy the content I do, subscribe to the channel to join this awesome community that we have on this channel. Thank you guys for watching this video. Take care and peace.